Welcome back, yeah, folks, so and let's play it. Command and Conquer the GDI okay. campaign. And when last we left off, we are in a pretty strong okay. position indeed. We have a couple of mammoth tanks, and by that I mean about 15 of them. And we need to uh, get ready to take the uh, dual construction yards that uh, Nod have. They have one over here, and one roughly over there. And we're going to take both of them. And we're a little low on money right now, but that's okay, because we can just take all of Nod's money. Why not? After all, it's just lying there, and they're clearly not spending it, so we'll just wait here and uh, take whatever we need. And then we'll uh, build a uh, selection of six engineers to retake all of this if we need to, and then we'll uh, use whatever money is left to uh, build whatever we like, and we'll add that technician to our growing army of technicians, because we have an awful lot of them. And by an awful lot of them, I mean we have all of them. Yes, right sir. there. We could just move yeah, them okay. over here. I think that's probably a good okay. idea. Keep okay. them uh, nice and safe yeah. over in the uh, northern okay. part of the map. And we Building. need one more engineer. There we go. Not bad Unit whatsoever. Ready. And now we're going to uh, start building some Primary more engineers over selected. here. A, a selection of five yeah. of them, because uh, we Unit want to uh, send this um, APC very, very yeah. um, carefully over to this yeah. area. As you can see, that minigunner is uh, rather safe there, so I can yes, imagine an Roger. APC You're will also be rather safe there as yes, well. Sir. We need to get a building. few more engineers, though, and by a few I mean five. Unit. And Unit. those tanks seem a little bit eager to uh, attack that a harvester, but that's all right, because uh, we have far more money than we know what to do with here. There we go, we'll just uh, blow that up there, and then we'll uh, blow this up here, and then we'll blow all them up here as well. There we go, and I don't think a flame tank really knows what it's doing here at all. I mean, all of these attacks are fine, but they're rather ineffectual, because uh, we can quite capably destroy anything that they're going to send our way. Absolutely building. anything. I mean, every time we uh, take those uh, silos there, we're going to have about 5,000 more money Roger. just lying around. Building. What we want to do is we want to uh, most certainly distract the uh, forces that are in here. Not necessarily uh, these ones, building. we don't need that much to distract them ones, but uh, a few Humvees will most certainly do the trick. About building. three. And then we'll need a, a little bit more to go after this one. I think we might actually uh, blow up the Obelisk of Light there, which will uh, buy us some time, because time is most certainly what we need. We're going to uh, fill this one up here, I think. There we go. And then we'll have uh, five engineers apiece. I don't think we need five engineers apiece, but uh, it can't hurt to have five there. All right, the uh, harvesters are not doing very well. They're, they're getting rather badly damaged, but um, that's not so bad because we do have an awful lot of uh, pretty much anything we ever need. And these are pretty much empty, so we'll start selling them. And of course, when we sell them, we get some technicians. And technicians will add to the uh, small, ever-growing pile of technicians over there. We may actually uh, use them at some point. We're never actually going to use them at some point, are we? I don't think we are, Building. but we might. Who knows? All right, we now have a... Uh, oh, hello! That was a really ineffectual attack. A completely ineffectual attack. But you did manage to uh, damage one of the orcas, which is uh, not great. We don't want uh, to lose one of them. We're going to build a uh, mammoth tank here so that we uh, don't waste all of the money that we're earning. And that uh, flame tank most certainly did not do very well whatsoever. Oh well, at least it tried, eh? It did try. That is not doing very well at all. We're going to have to defend it. We're definitely going to have to defend it, because it is yes, about sir. to uh, get destroyed. Yes, there we go, that is uh, one tank destroyed, and yes. we'll destroy that one as well. Yes, sir. And we're actually going to send that over to uh, get no, fixed yes, now, no. because uh, that is not good. Yes, that is not good at all. There we go. Are we ready to finally do this? I don't actually know. This is going to be a very, very risky thing indeed. Trying to uh, take the... Uh, 
bases or specifically the construction yards is always a precarious thing. And, uh, yep, we're going to build some more mammoth tanks while we uh, consider this because uh, it's very, very risky indeed. This could end in absolute failure. But if we're uh, careful, I don't think it will. Back. Apologies for the interruption there. Let us move on and get ready for the attack here. A uh, two-tier attack that we need to be very, very careful in enacting because um, what we don't want to do is we don't want to lose everything that we've uh, saved up here. What we want to do right now is we want to uh, make sure first that we're defending the base in its entirety because the worst thing we want to have happen now is that we lose everything while we're busy trying to take over their base. So we'll uh, do that there and uh, we're going to wait and send the orca yep. over to destroy that obelisk of light. Yes, sir. There we go, once that's done, uh, we'll be able to quite safely get over to, uh, there we go, quite we safely be able to get over to this Moving area down. here and make sure Moving that down. nothing gets distracted Moving along down. the way because if it does, that means that, um, there we go, if they just started to uh, actually attack that uh, selection of units there, that would have meant that uh, we'd had to uh, have them chase us, which would have been really, really bad. Yes, As sir. for the uh, second thing we need to do, we need to uh, make sure that this area is quite safe for us to take. And for that, we need to save, because uh, this is going to be very, very precarious. We want to use the ion cannon Select to blow target. up this here once this uh, rocket trooper has moved. There we go, and now we need to move in, making sure that we're very, very careful to uh, have this deploy around about here. There we go, we want to uh, do that right now, have that deploy, and we want that taken, and then we most certainly, uh-oh, we didn't manage to get everything, and that's really, really bad. We want to send the Orca right now to go and blow that up as soon as we possibly can, because uh, that is really, really bad. We want to blow this up as soon as possible as a backup plan, and that indeed worked. We may have lost a few of the uh, Orcas yes, there, but that was most certainly worth it. There we go. We now want to uh, send all of this as a big distraction while we use the uh, engineers here to uh, take these buildings. There we go. One taken, and another taken there. We could actually start building some uh, non-buildings right now, and that might be a uh, rather good idea. There we go, we'll uh, build a... Uh, why don't we build... where do we want to build that? Maybe here? Might not be so bad. We'll build that there, and then we'll build an airstrip right there. Not so bad at all. And what we want to do now is uh, we want to uh, take stock of all that we have because um, now we have a significant advantage. And by significant, I mean that we uh, ah, we can't build that anymore. But we do have a, a hand of nod, which isn't so bad. And we lost an orca, which also isn't so bad either. What we want to do now is we want to take every single one of these silos here and get a lot of money. Because now they don't have the ability to rebuild these silos. So uh, this pretty much is building. it the Capture. final nest egg Capture. that we're going to use Capture. to uh, obliterate everything that they have. And I mean obliterate, because uh, now they can't rebuild any of their structures. They can't rebuild the uh, silos, they can't rebuild any of their turrets, and now we can finally go and blow that up. We can finally go and blow it up, which is uh, very, very important yes, indeed. There we go, you go back over there, and you go over there. Actually, you want to go over there. There we go. And now we just need to repair these all up, and then get ready for a final assault. And I do mean a final assault, because now we are going to go and destroy absolutely everything they have. There we go, we'll just uh, move those over there and you there, just because um, I'm quite confident that now we'll be able to uh, obliterate everything that they own. Starting with this turret here. There we go. One less turret to worry about, and that will never be rebuilt. Ever, ever again. Yes, sir. Not bad at all. We'll just uh, move a bit further over there, and uh, actually we should just uh, keep them there. Why not? We need to uh, make sure the mammoth tanks don't get destroyed after all. There we go. And then we'll start uh, sending these out to uh, attack these turrets, because now we're quite safe in the fact that uh, nothing is going to blow us up anymore. There we go, one less um, turret to deal with, and then we'll um, destroy that uh, turret over there. I'm thinking in advance to what we're going to do after we destroy these turrets, we're probably just going to roll right into this base and destroy it. There we go, 
one more turret dealt with, and did any of them take any damage? No, they did not, which is brilliant. All right, time to uh, send in the mammoth tanks. Just a couple of them, and by a couple of them, I mean all of these ones, because uh, we most certainly do not need to worry about anything right now. There are no defenses anymore to this base, so all we need to do is blow up all of their unit generation uh, buildings, and then we have won. Finally. Finally, we'll have triumphed against the Brotherhood of Nod. Also, that was a very silly thing for you to do. We'll uh, destroy that, and once we've dealt with all them, we'll then blow up this uh, Hand of Nod here. There we go, we'll get rid of that first, I think. And now that it's been dealt with, you can just uh, deal with everything else. And you can blow that up while we're here. There we go, not bad at all. And I think it's safe to say that this base has been dealt with quite permanently. There we go. Not bad whatsoever. They managed to get, uh, nope, that was uh, too late, I'm afraid. We'll uh, blow that up as well, because now they are going to lose money when we do that, and that is not so bad at all. There we go. Not bad whatsoever. Do we have an ion cannon attack ready? We do indeed. There is an obelisk here that we want blown up. That one. Now it is gone which is really, really good, and uh, we'll blow this one up while we're here. Why not? I think it's safe to say that we might have won. Just maybe. There we go. There are a few of the, um, a few more SAM sites we need to worry about, and we have lost an Orca, which is uh, not too good. We'll just uh, have that fixed there. Brilliant. One more Orca to join all the other Orcas that we have, and uh, we need to have you uh, blow that up there, and you blow that up there. Why not? Ooh! That hit something that I was not anticipating it would hit. That definitely did not hit the advanced communications tower, did it? That hit what I was worried it would, and that was one of the advanced guard towers that we have. Oh dear, what did we... We lost a lot of things there. We lost a lot of things. Let's um, start fixing those up, shall we? Good plan. And now we need to uh, start, well, basically getting back everything that we lost and uh, swapping those round. Because we want an advanced, um, we definitely want an advanced guard tower there. Definitely. Definitely. Whoops, well, that was a mistake, but uh, at least it wasn't an absolutely terrible one. We are able to recover from Building. this uh, quite comfortably. There we go. Uh, that guard tower will now deal with all of those nuclear attacks that will eventually come our way. And we might as well get these uh, minigunners out of there. There we go. We want to uh, start repairing everything and rebuilding. First thing we want to rebuild is an advanced uh, power plant because we most certainly want to... Uh, we want to make sure that that never happens again, and that we have enough power to uh, get everything back. There we go. We have uh, that back now, and we might as well build another one over there, and then some... Uh, okay. Do we need to build another one? Maybe we don't. Maybe we just build an advanced communications tower right there. Seems like a sound plan. And meanwhile, while that's going on, we'll just um, start blowing up everything that they have, uh, starting with over here. They do have the ability to uh, build units, but that's uh, pretty much limited to infantry only, because uh, we kind of destroyed the airstrip earlier. Ah, yes, hello, sir. Mr. Yes, sir. Turret. We'll go blow you up you right now. There we go, and then we'll blow yes, this up here. And yes, you're pretty much gone. And you're also pretty much gone. And while you're doing that, we'll just uh, blow everything else up. Once we get rid of both of the... Uh, refineries here, they pretty much won't have uh, any capability to uh, have any chance of winning. I mean, they could technically win here. They could send an engineer, for instance, to go and uh, retake our construction yard. And now we have low power, which is why I thought that we needed a, um, we definitely needed a uh, guard, a um, power plant rather. I'm about to say a guard tower there, but uh, we most certainly did not want an advanced guard tower there. And now they have no more capability to uh, build units whatsoever. That is now done. They can't do that anymore. We'll uh, put that there. We'll build a, uh, I think, a silo here. We could actually sell all this now. Why not just sell all that? Because we don't need it anymore, that's for sure. There we go. We'll uh, put that there. And then we'll have some uh, refineries, because why not? There we go. 
Now the next attack will go against our guard tower over there, but they uh, seem pretty intent to go and destroy, which is a bad idea on their part. There we go, one there. Anything else we need to blow up? I think we need to blow that up, that's for sure. Do we have a, yep, we have a small group of walkers, which is uh, more than enough. We have a second one of those. And then all we need is a little bit more money to uh, go and get a uh, repair facility. And then the base is pretty much as it had been. For now, however, we want to go and blow that up and then blow this up here using uh, either an ion cannon or the orcas. Because I think once we've blown that up, we will get access to a uh, the airstrike at long, long last. Do we have it now? We do! We finally have it. All right, over there you go. This might be a bad idea, a very bad idea indeed, because if we hit that uh, Temple of Nod, we may get a, uh, yep. Fortunately, that only blew up something that uh, we don't really, um, we're not really going to miss at all. We lost the advanced guard tower, which is fine because uh, we didn't really need that anyway. Well, not at this point anyway, because we have pretty much won. There we go, we'll just uh, blow these up here, and then we'll rebuild the guard tower, and then a repair facility, and then the base is uh, pretty much uh, as it was. In fact, it's even better than it was before. We'll uh, blow that up there, I think. There we go. Not bad whatsoever. And with the uh, Temple of God destroyed and that power plant, uh, the game is indeed finished. The uh, core game, anyway. The um, There'll be nothing more for us to do. The GDI campaign is over, the Nod campaign is over, and we could just uh, blow up these minigunners here. They have no idea what to do whatsoever. So we'll just uh, obliterate them. There we go, are they gone? The answer is, uh, no, they are not gone yet. I think we'll uh, send Miss Tank to go and get them. There we go. Eventually they'll perish. Meanwhile, we're going to use this um, there to, there we go. Much better. The base is exactly as it had been before. But there is one more thing that we need to do, because uh, we have not yet won. We must destroy the Temple of Nod itself, and there is only one force that I think is capable of doing that. You're absolutely right. It is the army of technicians that we now have access to. It might not be the best force that we're going to send against this, but hey, it's worth a go. What's the worst that could happen after all? What is the worst that could happen? I don't think we're going to need any of you. We might as well just send you over here. With the exception of maybe one or two of you. But we also have some uh, turrets to blow up here. We might as well go and blow them up. And uh, send an airstrike over there. Select. And that should probably do it. There we go. Excellent. And that will finish it off. All right. We have two mammoth tanks here and uh, one solitary minigunner who would absolutely destroy every single one of these technicians. So uh, we'll just have them over there and then we're going to wait while our final attack force, the Vanguard, moves in. Valiantly, they're going to achieve victory for GDI. And forevermore will they be remembered as those that secured victory. Or we might find out just how terrible the um, yeah. the technicians are. Okay, technicians, you're okay. going to surround this here, and then we're going to see how effective you are. And you also might trigger another nuclear strike, so yeah. just watch okay. out for that. Yeah. All right, off you go. The answer is they actually deal a fair amount of damage. Not bad at all, but right now it's not being repaired. And now it's being repaired, I think they might not deal any damage whatsoever. Or maybe I'm wrong! Maybe they can actually achieve victory! Aha! I didn't think they actually could, but there are just enough of them. And if we move these ones over here, there'll be even more of them! Aha! The Temple of Nod obliterated in a hail of ineffectual pistol fire! All you need is massive, massive quantities of it! And then victory will be yours! Take that, Kane! We just beated you with the most ineffectual unit that has ever been! Ha <laughs> ha! In fact, we've won so much that I used a word that wasn't correct! But that doesn't matter, because victory is within our grasp! Go, technicians! Shoot for victory! And with their destruction, well, the Temple of Nod, that is, the mission is nearly over. 
There is one more thing left to do. Select target. Blow up this one minigunner. It's one solitary remnant of the Brotherhood of Nod. And with that out the way... Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. I... Uh, we've taken serious... The temple's been blown all to hell! We need to get out of here before... Sir, topside has suffered significant damage. Structural integrity has been compromised. I estimate GDI will have access to this command center in approximately 20 minutes. And with that, Kane is gone, and we will never, ever see Kane again. Ever. Or maybe we will. Let's go and get to the final cutscene, and wow, those Nod casualties. They are absolutely ridiculous, and the building's lost too. An absolutely colossal amount. And with that, the GDI campaign is over. United Nations officials have confirmed that Global Defense Initiative assault troops successfully attacked and destroyed the alleged Sarajevo headquarters of the Brotherhood of Nod. This ends a three-day siege which saw GDI and Nod forces engaged in mortal combat. Eyewitnesses and survivors report that, although evenly matched, the GDI forces employed superior tactics and strategy outmaneuvering Nod in what was termed an epic battle. Quoting from a written statement issued earlier today, UN Secretary of Defense Dr. Charles Olivetti praised the men and women of the UN-funded GDI, calling them, quote, tireless defenders of freedom and heroes to history, unquote. Although refusing to disclose specific totals, Dr. Olivetti confirmed reports that heavy casualties were sustained by both sides. Kane, the single-named charismatic Nod leader and self-proclaimed prophet, is among those missing and assumed dead. Discovery and destruction of the Nod Command Center ends more than three years of continued escalating violence, sparked by that organization's international terrorist activities. World reaction has been missed. And so the game is finally over. The core game at least, anyway. There is a little more to the game to come. There were the covert operations, and there are a few more missions that uh, were hidden away that uh, we can now access, but uh, or could access at the very beginning, but um, that we could go to now. And I think the GDI campaign is just generally better than the Nod one. It is uh, better constructed and better built and uh, has a better flow to it, where um, you go and learn things as you're going along more and more, and eventually um, you get a, a good handle on all the buildings that you're going to get. And so, with that, we have managed to finish both campaigns, both GDI and Nod. And with that, the core Command & Conquer game is indeed over. But there is a lot more still to see in Command & Conquer, and I think that we are not quite done with the game just yet. There is one more thing I most certainly want to show off, though. Something that is a little bit silly. Okay, it's very, very silly indeed. Also, I like the fact that there was a panicked Nod Soldier um, credit there. That is a good credit to have. And so, with this and the uh, cutscenes here, many of which we never actually saw in the game,
Command and Conquer is indeed over. We did see the top one there, though. We definitely saw that one. And so, the game's uh, credits will end here. The core campaigns may be over, but there are a lot more missions still to do in the new missions section, where you can find all of the covert ops, and also in this instance the uh, N64 and PlayStation uh, special ops missions for GDI and the Brotherhood of Nod. But there are two campaigns there that um, most certainly stand out compared to all the others, and the top one is one of them, the Fun Park Dinosaur Campaign. Yes indeed, Command & Conquer has uh, two mini-campaigns here that have dinosaurs in them. And how effective are dinosaurs against the uh, forces of GDI and Nod? More effective than you'd think. And when we come back, folks, we're going to go and deal with them. Or maybe they'll deal with us. After all, dinosaurs are terrifying with their no guns, or tanks, or aircraft or bases, how are they going to kill us? We're going to find out. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Dinosaurs, eh? Whatever next? Aliens from outer space? Ah, that would be silly, wouldn't it? Later. <laughs>